Hey, Gellich, cost of everything's going up, isn't it? Look, we're all suffering from inflation. Well, Olive certainly is. <laughs> well, she can't help it if she suffers. Here's your breakfast, love. Right. What's this? Fried bread and bacon. Fried bread and bacon? Where's the bacon? Underneath the bread. <laughs> Oh, is that it? Yeah. Blimey, no wonder it was underneath there you was frightened it would blow away. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, everything's so expensive I can't afford to give you any more. Not the money you give me. Wow. Well, everything's so expensive we've got to cut down. Well, that's not going to do Wally any harm, is it? I am already cutting down. I've only got one slice of toast. Oh, blimey, you're putting half a pound of butter on it. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to go easy with the butter, love. It's very expensive and it's going up. Look, it's her fault. It's the law of supply and demand. And she's creating a shortage. Now, look here. I can't cope. You boys have got to give me more housekeeping money. Oh, what? don't talk. Wait, I can't afford to. I don't know what you do with the money anyway. Oh. Well, we can't do without butter. I've only had a bit. Well, now, look. <laughs> In the war, your dad and me had two ounces of butter a week. Did you manage on that? Hmm? I must have done this when she was born. Um. <laughs> oh, well. I didn't ration everything. <laughs> oh, there's the milkman. Shh, don't say a word. Well, what's the matter with you? If he knows we're here, he won't pay him. Shh. Well, what's the matter? Haven't you paid him this week or something? I haven't paid him for six weeks. Get out of sight. Oh. oh, don't be ridiculous. How much do you owe the man? Six pounds ten. <laughs> it's all right, it's gold. No, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> How are you humiliating? <laughs> hey, what's Olive doing on the floor? She always get on the floor when a milkman calls. <laughs> we wish she did. If she did, we wouldn't know him six pound ten. <laughs> Here, I found that note on the doorstep. Yeah? No milk today. What are you talking about? There's hardly any left. What did you put that out for, Mark? She didn't put it out, the milkman did. <laughs> hey, you're around here early, what are you doing? Well, I didn't want to be at home when the milkman called. We're all in the same boat, mate. Oh. Oh, well, I suppose you've gone now. I'll see you down at the depot. Okay, okay then, Jack. Yeah. Go on, mate. Now, listen, you two, I'm sick of dodging the tradespeople. You've got to give me more money. Don't keep picking on me. Mum, why don't you chip me with a bit more housekeeping? Because I cannot afford to. I've had rather a lot of expenses recently. I've got to tax my motorbike in two weeks, haven't I? Oh, that rotten thing. It's a damn nuisance. Why don't you flog it? Because it happens to be the only pleasure I've got left in life. <laughs> well... You can't have a motorbike and a wife. Something's got to go. I... <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Well, sorry to lose you, love. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say such things. Anyone would think Arthur would rather have his motorbike than Olive. Well, the bike has got its attractions. <laughs> Now, look, mate, listen. Why don't you put an ad in the local paper? I'll help you to make one out. Look, mate, I have not yet decided to get rid of it. I think he'd rather sell me. Oh. All right, put ad in about you. <laughs> one owner, hardly used, two seats well upholstered. Oh. <laughs> How can you say such things? At least I'm in good running order. Well, how would we know? You haven't been working for three years. I, 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 I read in a paper... About how in Africa you can barter your wife for free cows. <laughs> Pretty we can't do that here. Then we wouldn't have to worry about the milk. <laughs> Will you stop talking about selling olive and think about selling your bike? We need the money. All right. And that's just right, Arthur. Let's go and have a look at it in the shed, see if we can pick out its finer points. Huh? All right. Come on, then. Here. Bring a bit of pencil and bike. All right, I've got one.